Hey, what's up? Today, what I'm going to be giving my two cents on is Lizzo said she's leaving Twitter because basically she can't deal with the trolls. And y'all know the shade room, the shade room, get my nerves up, but the shade room, it's like as soon as a celebrity posts something, they on it. That's probably because they're following a celebrity or whatever, but on Instagram, on the shave room, they was like, um, Lizzo said she feeling good and basically deuces, fuck Twitter, she's out. She ain't got time for the bullshit and all the little trolls, like, <laughs> bounce. And I'm like, I don't get it, but Lil Duval was like, uh-uh, see, that's what y'all problem is. Y'all let these little trolls and these little kids run your asses off of Instagram and off of social media. And he was like, I've been here for 10 years. They didn't know that to fuck with me. They know I ain't going nowhere. Angela D. Stanton, she was the same way and everything. And speaking of Lizzo, whatever. And so she's not going to be on Twitter for a while. And they're like, she need to get off Instagram too. And do you have some people doing a little emoji that raised their hand? I had a part in her leaving Twitter. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I'm a part of that shit. Yeah, I'm a part of that bullying shit. Yeah, I'm a part of disrespecting her. And I don't even know her. And projecting my insecurities and negativities on her. Yeah, that made her leave. Come on now. And... It just, um, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what type of person are you to be like, yeah, I had a hand in her leaving Twitter. She need to get the fuck on anyway. Nobody don't care. You don't care, but you're posting about her on a post about her. Make it make sense. And so I was like, damn, well, if she would have killed herself, everybody would be like, rest in peace, Liz, Lizzo, rest in peace. You, you, you was the GOAT. You was a legend. And nobody would have been saying, oh, damn, I was part of bullying her or saying shit to her to make her kill herself. Keep that same energy. And then I saw a post, I think yesterday or something, whatever. I said I saw a post of Meg Thee Stallion, and she was doing this, like, little slow turn. I guess it was an app on Instagram, whatever. But she was, it was, I mean, she had this little bikini on. And another thing is I don't understand how these celebrities or females, because it's not just celebrities. I didn't see regular females have these bikini tops on, and their titties, their boobies, their mammary glands are hanging out the bottom. And I'm like, damn, if the baby suit I was too big, why don't, what, what the fuck, that's the style now? The bottom of your... Titties hanging out the bathing suit top. I even saw Lala Milan who don't, who's damn near flat chested with a bathing suit on looking foolish as shit with the bottoms of her um, A cups hanging out. But anywho, Meg, she was, she had this bikini on or whatever. It was like a thong because her ass was out. And she was like, I'm just showing y'all it's real and all this other stuff. And people were like, yes, girl, Meg, you the goat. Meg, you look good. Look at your body. Meg, what waist? What was even Erica Badu was like, damn, Meg, you sexy. All this other stuff. It was a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm like, but when Lizzo showed her big ass, there was a problem. And I know it's a double standard or anything, but so because Meg's ass is, I guess, a little bit aesthetically pleasing to most people or most men. I don't know. Because to me, an ass is an ass. You really shouldn't be showing your ass. At one point in time, I show my ass a little bit. But I'm saying, as you get older, then you just, you, you, you know, and don't have a double standard saying, Dad, well, nobody wants to see Lizzo's big ass, but we want to see Meg's sexy ass. Somebody might think Lizzo's sexy. Somebody let her know she's sexy. Lizzo thinks she's sexy. So the sibling say, be like, yes, Meg, look at that. Look at that ass. What waste. Come on now, for real. And then Nick Gordon. I wasn't going to say nothing about Nick Gordon because, you know, I just was. It's unfortunate. But the more I keep on seeing people saying, damn, that's his karma. And I'm like, not really. Not really. He had a problem. He was on drugs the same way Bobby Christina was on drugs. He was on drugs with her the same way Whitney was on drugs. They was all on drugs together. I wouldn't even put it past that they did whatever type of drug they did together. So for Nick Gordon to lose a mother figure who's supposed to be like a mother figure, I think she adopted him or whatever because it was confusing me when they got married or said they got married and, you know, but for them to lose a mother figure, I'm going to include him too, but for him to lose a mother figure, yeah, that fucked with him. I'm, that got to have fucked with him. It got to have messed him up. And then he's on drugs and she's on drugs. 
And they know that if I don't get off drugs, this is going to happen to me. And then for Bobby Christine to go through the same thing to be found in a tub. We don't even know if she was really found in a tub. They could have probably put her in a tub trying to revive her or whatever. Because it was Nick and his friend who found Bobby. They could have been doing drugs together in the room like an hour before or whatever. And they said, like, nobody knows but Nick, Bobby, and the other friend, you know. And then for the friend that was with I almost caught him on it. But for the friend that was with Nick, who found Bobby Christina, for him to die off a drug overdose, I can't even imagine. I don't know what he was feeling like, but I know if that was me, I would have felt like death was chasing me. I would have felt like, dang, everybody is dropping around me like flies. I would have been thinking about my own mortality and everything. So it's no, and then when he went on Dr. Phil and everything, he was even taught and high as Cootie Brown. Then I, so for people to sit there and say, his death is karma, and that's what he get, Until it hits home. But anyway, I don't want this to be too long. I just wanted to give my two cents. Plus, it was time for me to do a video. I had somebody come, a, 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 a dude. I guess it was a dude because you could, you could be a dude or a female. You could just put a name. And his name on YouTube was that nigga. And he said because I was doing a video, my nappy root itself thought I was doing something. Because I wanted to do a video and upload a video, posting my opinions, I thought I was doing something. No, apparently I did something because I don't know him from a can of paint. Yeah, let's sell a comment. So, yeah, I want to do this video. Yes, it was time to do video. It's time to keep on doing videos. And, yeah, and um, I didn't want this to be too long, but I'm about to wrap this on up. But y'all always, 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 always stay unapologetically you. Because I'm going to always, always, always be unapologetically me. Hands, gestures, facial expressions, all that. Okay? But thank y'all for watching. And, um...